My name is Imani and I'm the founder of The Gift Shop. The Gift Shop is a business incubator for artists and also a pop-up shop. So we are working with 35 different local QT BIPOC artists and selling their work here in the store. We also offer workshops and professional development opportunities for artists as well. Ultimately, I really wanted to create something where artists can learn, build community, and also become kind of self-sustaining through their work. Uh, I had a really rough childhood growing up and the only place I knew, the only way I knew how to exist was through music. Um, and so finding myself really led me to follow um, my path to music and my place. And so every show that I shoot and all the art that I make is just a reminder um, that I found myself and that I'm there and that I am allowed to take up space in the world. I think it's really important to bring community together. Um, it's a really great way to for artists of all different mediums to come together and have a safe space where they can create and vibe with each other um, and connect. What inspires my work mainly has always been just around growing up in Toronto, specifically in Scarborough. So anything to do with just Toronto culture, Scarborough culture, and then just like Jamaican culture, Caribbean culture throughout, just like anything that represents me and how I grew up, I always like to have that on display. So like to just, you know, see your ideas come to life, it's a beautiful thing and to create a community from it. So that's why I think the gift shop is very important to have. I'm really into nostalgia. I'm really into comfort, familiarity, um, feelings of home because I feel like that's something that looks so different to every single person, but it's something that at the end of the day always aligns with everybody. I think my favorite part of the gift shop is the workshops because although yes, it's a beautiful space to display your work, it's also really important that the gift shop teaches people how to actually get to that point and how to you know, move forward in life and how they want to move forward and offering a wide variety of different workshops is like something I think is really important. What inspires my work? is like authentic people, authentic moments, anything that screams like truth where someone is just like expressing themselves um, without any filter. I feel like artists often were like isolated because we're working from home and when you come to a space like this you can see so much art and so much like so many different perspectives and ways of expressing expressing yourself that you realize like just being your unique self like other people can kind of feel that same way that you're feeling when you see other art so it's just this like exchange of like joy for art i think it's really uh, important for creatives to have those outlets and to be able to connect with others in the sense of it's really good for inspiration it's really good for being able to ask questions about oh hey i know you're working on i don't know custom clothing, whatever, like how do I get started? Like you can just ask those questions rather than having to you know, scavenge YouTube and I don't know, go about it through trial and error. I think it's really cool to have a community of like a tighter net with graves, I guess. I definitely grew up with my own, you know, mental battles, you know, when it comes to depression, anxiety, all that type of stuff. So I kind of channeled all of that into art. That's how it kind of started. Like that was my happy place was painting, doing art, doing things with my hands, keeping keeping my mind distracted somehow, right? Like that was that was that outlet, you know, was figuring out a way to not be so focused on the negative and make that into something beautiful, something positive, you know. So the gift shop is important to me because I feel like it brings different creatives and artists around the city into a space where they can feel comfortable and network and interact with new people. I feel like my art all the time is expressing identity and experiences and how I'm feeling in the moment. Um, I admire the opportunity that yes, you have this platform, but you're also guiding them through the process of, you may be new to this, here are a f handful of different things kind of surrounding this in industry, surrounding this practice that may benefit you as you continue to become an emerging artist and follow, follow your path, whatever that may be. I don't think much of my photos. Uh, in my bio it says Zeitgeist Archivist. It was kind of just like um, a poke at people who use big words to make themselves seem more interesting in their craft. 
So Zeitgeist is the vibe of an era, the German word for it, and Archivist is just to archive something, to save it. So I kind of put the two together, and that's really all I'm doing. I'm freezing a moment, I'm letting it sit, and I'm ignoring it. I think people have their own interpretations of certain moments. The experience has been great. I think I sold a couple pieces, which is just nice to see that people actually care enough to buy something. I met some super cool individuals, saw some new styles that I hadn't even seen before. I definitely think that the success of the gift shop has come through the community. I think that having so many people show up and show out to all of our events, the opening, come through to support their friends, support artists that they've not met before and have work resonate with them has been so important. And I'm very thankful to everyone that supported the program, supported our events, because we definitely, definitely could not do it without um, all of you and without everybody. So very thankful to everybody that supported the program so far.